Hello guys, today in this video I would like to show you how to georeference a vector layer in QGIS without using any tool and plugin available in this software. So let's get, get busy with. I will import my AutoCAD drawing right now. After pressing OK, I should see my new file here. It appears as a group of layers at the very bottom. Because it's not georeference yet, it won't be on the map, which you can see right now. Moreover, it's overlapped by, by uh, OpenStreetMap canvas. So let's move it to the top in order to see my full AutoCAD drawing. And now let me explain the current location of this uh, drawing. It obviously falls at the very southwest corner of British National Grid coordinate system, uh, which means that is uh, west from Cornwall and Isles of Scilly. So if I zoom it out, you can see the rough location of this not georeferenced vector layer. This is this smallish black dot west of Cornwall, as you can see. I want it to be placed somewhere nearby my completed jobs, which you can see over here. So how can I do this? I can zoom again to this group. And uh, what I can do now, expand this group layer and see the elements which are included in this group. These uh, groups can be edited. So if I select, for example, polylines and toggle the edit option, I can uh, now select the features like I did right now. Then you can see most of features are selected. And now good option is move feature. So if I press this option and now press the cursor somewhere in this purple X in order to stick my cursor with the existing element, as you can see now, and I can now uh, zoom out by scrolling my mouse or moving them up by using uh, keyboard arrows. So if I use a right arrow, map is moving towards uh, west, towards east, sorry. When I use up arrow, map is moving towards north. So in this way, I can easily move the element into the location which I need. This is the area overlaid with ordnance survey maps uh, here and I can uh, place the shape roughly where I need just by single clicking the mouse the shape appears in its new location now you can uh, obviously unselect the editing mode and deselect the, the feature and already you've got the element uh, ready in your location right okay so now if i'm done with this uh, feature i can export it and save as a shape file And my shape is pretty much ready. So now I can do the same process with the other layers.
and now as you can see my drawing is already in proper location last thing to do is export the layer as a shape file and we are done remember that sometimes your shape might be too big so in this event you need to rescale it this is the tool very nice tool which can do uh, for you transform vector layer in saga and you will do it quickly so i use the situation where i know more or less the location because of the previous jobs which been completed in the similar area but if you know your location you can try to do this way of georeferencing without any previous jobs thank you for your attention